There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record at Linux. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro, and that's saying a lot. Kaden Live. Hi, 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 hi. Well, it's going to be a little controversial. Can you handle that? Controversy? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> the breakfast of champions, my friend. <laughs> Riddle thinkers make for fragile survivors. Yes, yeah, don't laugh. That's it. That's true. So, we're going to get right to it. The Atlas City Project and the resource-based economy. I was just really excited. It was extremely well done. How the resource-based economy could be implemented. How could we do it? Governments are largely silent. But as I start to just kind of flip around the internet and talk to other people, you know, go online, go on forums, and just see exactly how what other people are doing, it just seems like people are waiting for something. It just seems like people are waiting for something to happen. That we're going to wait for some one person to come up and say, "Okay, let's go develop a city." Oh, okay, now that person's going to do it. Let's wait for one of the guys at the Venus Project. Let's go, Peter Jones just comes out and says, okay, this is what we're doing now. Yeah. The whole idea, and I think a lot of people have forgotten, is that the resource-based economy itself is based on community. It is not about one or two people or three people saying, oh, damn, this is my project. This is something that I want to do. This is something that you know, I thought up of. You guys can't have the green light until I say something, or until this small group of people say something. The whole understanding of thinking this in that mentality is not that of a resource-based economy. We have to get out of these paradigms and thinking that the whole idea of getting into a resource-based economy is to wait for the few people that kind of innovated it to get the ball rolling. You have to understand that it is a oneness system. And what does oneness truly mean? I look at the idea of metaphysics. Every single person on this planet is one with all that is. Everything that is within creation itself is one thing. There is truly no superiority to the idea of anyone outside the one. Now you have to start breaking away from conventional thought. You have to uh, literally leave the orthodoxy at the door. Yeah. I was talking about the mindset uh, that people can put into people tackle to keep us away from how we put it from accomplishing what Jesus said in all the councils of the world. And he said, if you, you know, do what I teach you, you will accomplish all the miracles that I did and greater than you can do. And that's what the John turned into the chicken. He said, it doesn't matter if you have energy that everyone knows. Or, Heisenberg, he said, that if you observe reality powerfully with your focus, the reality is going to convene to change to accommodate the focus. Most of us have been taught in a way, and the one who is in can do that. And so Jesus then said, when you pray for something, believe it's already you and it should be so. And he said, we were taught to pray, oh God, I'm a wretched, poor, work with women of mercy, I mean, please give me whatever it is. But now we know, of course, from the quantum field, that whatever you hold in the focus is coming to manifest. And when I say, please give me something, I call that the vocabulary of doom, wishing, hoping, desiring, imploring, asking, begging. It cannot ever come because we have put a law out there that I I don't have it and that's what we manifest. So prayer is all with us. The problem is we do not appreciate what it is we are actually praying for. And in the words of Jesus, when you want something, you have to put yourself into the mindset that it is already yours. We have to be honest with ourselves, folks. All of our ologies and isms were born of a period of quiescence. Not one of them, not one, has been able to endure. When I try to explain what it's to people, the thing that they just have a heck of a time trying to wrap their brains around is when I tell them it can literally look, do, and feel anything you want, any way you want. And they're just gonna like, huh? Because they're so used to limitations. They're so used to Microsoft telling them, this is how it is if you don't like it too bad. And so you say Apple telling them this is how it is if you don't like it too bad. So when you throw in the concept of it can look, feel, and do like anything you want, people just don't get it. They're 
Well, so in a sense, too, as well, when you look at that comparison with Microsoft versus Linux, it's almost an idea of a system like the monetary system, and the idea of a resource based economy. The potential that a resource based economy can have that look and feel and do exactly whatever you want. And some people look in the monetary system and go, huh? You know, so it's almost like a double exposure, like a fixed position. Because until someone tries, no one asks. I mean, everybody could just sit there thinking about what the future might be like until the sun goes nova, or they can be brave enough to try to create the future now, because these questions that are going to get presented to you, well, have you thought about this? Have you figured that out? Have you, have you realized this? Have you considered that? These are questions you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have thought of until someone went ahead and tried to do it. People are really, really inspirational and passionate about bringing something like the resource based economy. And then they get stuck in that redundant cycle. Like, oh, you can't do this. That's a waste of time. Why would you even think about, oh, it's a socialist, it's a communist thing. And again, people just dive into that round of fear. You know, of course, there's no problem with the skeptics, of course, bringing in their own versions. And that's great. That's exactly how we learn. But of course, when the, when the, when the idea gets so redundant, you know, that's what I think that's how people get stuck in the cycle. Because you know, we're still asking the same questions. We're still dealing with some skeptical questions and comments. Remember Marshall's motto, destiny comes to those who listen and fate finds the rest. So learn what you can learn, do what you can do, and never give up hope. But uh, Michal, can I ask you a question? Sure. Anywhere in your research did you come across, say, a more tropical hell? <laughs> now, when I'm looking at your hamburger universe paradigm, someone loved Jesus, there's no reason for them to stop loving. Absolutely not, on the contrary. Uh, again, you can kind of join in on the chat. Just go to blogtalkradio.com slash person critical maps and join in on the talk. And again, you can call in if you like at 347-633-9446. And of course, you can always drop me an email if you want info at approaching critical maps.org. Everyone out there, run Linux of Microsoft is that corporate dictatorship who wants to buy your soul. They had floppy disk in the original uh, Enterprise? Yeah, everything they do on the computer, they have to stick in a little disk. We're going back to that technology, did you know that? We're going back to the floppy disk? Something similar to that. People are running Linux off of a CD-ROM. Come on! Yeah, what's yeah. wrong with that? It's kind of epic. It's one of the best versions of Nick's out there. They tried teaching us that in college. My God, I told the teacher what a stick it. I'm over here recompiling kernels on my freaking Linux box, and he's teaching us how to freaking go into the GUI. Wait a minute, can I just boost into it? Yeah, it sure does. This thing is growing so fast, we're going to be talking a lot about the conceptualization of what's going on there. Uh, if they wanted to get in on the uh, conceptualization and start throwing ideas in there, because this thing, anybody can influence which way this goes around. The whole idea of a one that understands what the people say, one with something like out of state. I would say it's I'm looking at your hamburger. You look at the whole concept of what it is we're trying to do there and just. I'm really excited. I'm going to put a new spin on my one segment. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to go out there and find the best free open source Linux because there's no point in talking about Windows and that's saying a lot. Starting to get some widespread attention and as a matter of fact we had a person who wants to start working now at creating a duplicate of Atlas City over oh, in wonderful. India. That's just fantastic news. Take it off. Atlas City has come together and already we've made such an amazing project. It's like the hundred monkey syndrome. You know, these people start to know about this and it spreads out. It spreads out like virus. And I think we're probably going to see a lot more of that too. I mean, we start reaching more areas across the planet. I think there'll be a lot of people that want that information.